I can do, sir, please. Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please. I'm begging you. I'm literally begging Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you. Please. 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 That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So, no, he's not in the building? I don't know. I'm not. What do you know? I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse. I don't know you. Spin me on my face right now. She spit in my face. Today's video takes us to the great state of California with a stop at the San Ramon School District where we find Anthony X and his sidekick Angry Vet Audit as they think they're going back to school. <laughs> Let's all sit back, watch, have a good laugh, and most of all, <laughs> enjoy! Welcome back. You're here today with your boy, Anthony X. And today I'm over in San Ramon, California kind of in between San Francisco and Martinez, working on a story with angry vet audits at the San Ramon Unified School District Maintenance Yard. Where do we sign in here? Do we sign in here or no? So I was just wondering if I'm supposed to sign in or not. Or... For what exactly? Oh no, it looks like there's custom. What? Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I'm just a guy with a camera. Okay, what do you? Just know? documenting everything here, real quick. I'm sorry. What do you? What do you? No, ma'am, I haven't finished. I still have two more sheets. I tell you one thing: if this little foul-mouthed midget would have ever walked into my office when I was at work, I would have broke his hand right then and there. What are you touching that for? It's none of your business. I'm sorry, what are you filming exactly? I was, well, I was documenting that. I'm sorry, for what? I was just documenting it. For what? I'm sorry? I was documenting. Can I get it back real quick? I'm almost finished. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm kind of confused on... It's just a camera, yeah. Nothing to be confused about. On who you are and how you got in here and... and yeah, the, there's a public area. It's a public lobby. There are some offices that I'm, say... Okay, that say checked that, in? There are some offices that say restricted and everything. And I'm sorry, have you have you checked in at the front yet? Well, if I did check in or didn't check in, that would be their concern, not your concern, right? Your concern is this office, if, unless I'm mistaken. I'm sorry, I just don't feel comfortable because I don't know who you are. I, I'll tell you this, just to, just to dispel any you know issues. Can I come I call in. My boss. Absolutely, I can't stop you from doing what you're gonna do. Well, um, I come I come in peace though, just so you know, I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm not so what are you saying, Anthony? You just want to walk around and take pictures and have no negative interaction? Nobody'd want to watch your little punk-ass channel. Uh, nobody wants to watch it now, but you keep on trying, sweetheart. Keep on e-begging for those donations, too. I'm not saying you are. We've just, I've had own personal issues with people just coming right. in. Well, I'm not gonna, I, I can tell you this. Ask people to check in at the front office. Well, maybe call them and see if I checked in or not first then. But that'd be their, their concern. But you haven't even told me who you are, so how would I, how would I know? I mean, I could make up a name. Well, would that know, make you me, feel better? Let me just call my boss and I'll let him handle this. Sure. All right, so. Not sure what's going on here, guys. It's like, I'm just recording. I could make up a name. It's not going to tell them what I'm doing. By giving her my name, it's not going to say what I'm doing. I mean, it's pretty obvious. I'm just recording. I know, but there's this personal. Well, I'm not HR here for documentations. You can take one of our cards, each of us, if you'd like. That's yeah, it's just easier for me to up. record, just so I don't lose them. Of course, whatever you'd like to do. Yeah, that's all I'm here. I'm just, I'm not here to get anything confidential. I know, but you were taking video of like just the stuff on the counter. At one time, Anthony was a bakery manager. Now it looks to me like he ate everything in the bakery. Look at the size of that gut, man. Ooh, that is a big one. I'm not going to go into your computer. I'm not going to go yes, in your drawer. But that's no. I'm just letting you know. I'm, not, I'm just letting you know. I'm not going to go in your in your desk or anything crazy. But yeah, if that makes you feel better, calling that's definitely your Absolutely. choice. It just it, it says welcome. I'm just going to be honest. I'm not feeling very welcome though. I mean, should we take this down or what can we do about that? Or maybe make me feel welcomed. You're not making me feel comfortable, so how is that fair to me? Are you here? What can I do to make you feel more comfortable, ma'am? Please come in the office. There's 
somebody here. I don't know who he is, and he won't tell me who he is, and you're recording, so I'm just I'm just uncomfortable. How about this? If, would it make yeah, you feel? Could you just could you just please come in here? You. Okay. Thank you. Because I'm just. I don't know who he is. I'm assuming somebody from the public. And yeah, I'm just recording. In, but he's not telling. I don't know. I keep. Can you please not touch my stuff? I just want to. I just want to. I just want to show that. Well, does this belong to your city or the county? I'm talking about this stuff right oh. here. Well, if That's it's your my nameplate, you're more than welcome to touch it if you need to. But again, if that were my desk and he did that, now he'd have two broken hands, and you can call the cops all you want. Oh, that's right. You have two broken hands. You can't call the cops. Please don't. So maybe. He, excuse me. Are you here, sir? I, like I was trying to tell her, I'm just, I'm just here documenting some stuff. You don't need to document. You got to exit the building. Oh please. no, this is public. No, it's not. This so, is a private business. So this is not the school district. This, this is the, the maintenance yard. This is public property. Come on. Out. Well, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you a question. You come out, Let me ask you a question. Okay, I'm gonna just call the police. There you go. So, this is how our public servants treat us, guys. You they, they, the they say it's welcome. I didn't. I, I tried asking really nice. Just have, just have seat, Sir, I didn't climb any fences. I didn't break no, through any doors. A public area. Public out? area. I'm asking you. Did you Wouldn't that be a good idea for you to check first? Why don't you, you check? Asked, why don't you? I'm not coming. Call please. the police. You have signs on the other door that say restricted. I'm not going into restricted areas. This is an open this office. This hallway is restricted. That's not true. It is. Then why on the door right here next to me? Why does it say restricted on the other door? I'm just so happy I never ran into any of these frauders when I was still working because I definitely would have been arrested. But I'll tell you one thing, though. They wouldn't have frauded it anymore. They physically wouldn't have been able to fraud it. No doubt about it. But that's neither here nor there. Let's carry on. No, Kelsey, do me a favor. Call, call the police. Never mind. I'm gonna... So you're going to call the police on a citizen for taking pictures? I am. That doesn't make any sense, sir. I'm not going to argue with you, but you're not. Do you have a business card? Do you, you have a, shouldn't be in this office. Do you have a business card? You shouldn't be in this How office. How do I make a complaint you on you? How do I make a complaint office. on you? Office Sir, space. you're dismissed. Let's just get back to work. You came into my office space. This is my office space. This is not your office space. So you saying, I need to Sir, exit our building. are you saying that these cards are not for members of the public? When they're invited in, yes. Also, oh, only by invite. Yes, by invite. Sir, I'm not feeling very welcome. I need you I'm not feeling very welcome. I'm just peacefully recording. I'm not causing trouble. We're at 3280. This is not private. Who, who owns it? The, the city of San Ramon. Who owns the city of San Ramon? He's in my office right the, now. And who am I? Oh, that's a loaded question. You could be considered an idiot or possibly a certified moron. Doesn't really matter. But I bet one thing, your mama's real proud of you, isn't she, boy? I'm just in a public area. And you, sir, you're very hostile. You need to learn to treat members of the, of the public with respect. You work for me. I don't work for you. This is how people lose their jobs. If you don't care about your job, that's fine. This guy's been very cordial, but you, you, you came off rude and hostile. You'll get your name badge. Can I ask you what, what was the purpose of coming here? I mean... I, can, I, I, I have no problem to explaining to you because you've been very respectful. This guy, though, I'm not going to divulge any information while he's here because he's very hostile. He called armed men. You get the wrong, there's a lot of good cops out there, but you get the wrong cop coming in on the wrong day. He put, he's putting my life in jeopardy. So he will be getting a complaint. That's fine. So what's your name, sir, and title? You're going to make me do it the hard way. We can do it the easy I way am, or the hard I way. Am, I am going to make you do the hard so way. So you're a public servant and you're going to make a member of the public that pays your salary do it the hard way. Wow. Now, what Anthony X says does ring a bit true. If he lived in that school district and paid income taxes to the state, he would be the boss. But I'm betting he doesn't live there. So you're nothing, Anthony X. You're a pile of garbage. Uh, send, send him out the curb if you can pick him up. Might need a forklift for that. Well, he could have came out. He could have came out a little nicer, though. Well, we know we have secure ways and entered this building. You did not come through the proper door. You came in through the back door. So what you're saying is that's my problem that you don't have it marked properly. You walked into a gate. That was open. That was open. It's open only because we drive. That's not my problem. It is your problem. Then put up a sign saying no trespassing, restricted area. Employees only. That solves the problem. It's a simple solution. 
At minimum, you can come and speak with me. You can ask questions. You can ask me questions. But when you're over talking me like that, that's not right. Is this is this a private is this a private entity or a public entity? Actually, which is public? Which is public? Let me guess. And, you're, and let me guess. You're going to compare this with like do I do I record in, my, in someone's house? Huh? This is public, and this is not where the kids are going to school. This is a school maintenance yard area. This is what happens when you're uneducated, unemployed, and a general loser in life. You have nothing else to do, so you go out and create problems and upload it to your YouTube channel for clicks and views. Drama sells. If you're interested in the First Amendment, you wouldn't create drama. Now, this video is 30 minutes long, so let's skip through a bit and find out what happens here. 15 minutes late. Yeah. All right. I'm going to just go in there and talk to them. And then, right. uh, I'm gonna Anything get out else, gentlemen? And your camera's going to be on the whole time, right? Huh? Your camera, this is, since the call's not over, you're not going to mute it or turn it off? or Perfect. On. Keep that in mind when you're speaking to him. You got it. You got it. All right. Public record. You got it. We will hold accountability if that's turned off. And you said. Yeah. You said. So again, I'd like to, before I go file complaints on you, because you seem like actually a nice guy. I can tell by your aura. You don't I seem like a negative person. The other guy came out, maybe he just wasn't sure how to handle it. He came out a little negative. Like I said, I'd like you to just take my request. I can't force you, obviously, but I'd like you to just simply take the request and submit it. Now, and then, at that point, your hands are clean. You now did your part. You did your job by submitting it. And now it's up to your boss if they want to give me those records. And then if they don't give me the records that I want, then I can take it up with them. So are you willing to take my request like I've asked before? Now, what we missed, and we didn't really miss anything, in the 15 minutes that I edited out is this Yahoo Anthony X was talking to this man trying to get a FOIA request. And the man says he's not going to file a FOIA request. So now they've moved outside, called the police, and that's where we're at right now. He's still not going to get his FOIA request. Oops, I let the cat out of the bag. What's the request? Well, are you willing? I don't want to give it to you if you're not willing to take it. Well, I, I just need to know what you're requesting. So, so you know, I know exactly what I'm getting into. So the so. gentleman that was in there who originally told me I had to leave the office that doesn't want to identify, I need his full name, date of hire, I need his salary from 2022. Yeah, unfortunately, I, I, I can't release that. Well, no, you know that again, so you're not understanding what I'm saying. You don't. I'm not expecting you to release it. Yeah. I'm expecting you just to take the request, pass it on to your boss, let them handle it. And then if they want to give me the information, yeah, yeah, I just request. need you to take yeah, the request. Yeah, yeah, That's like saying, I want you to give me a million dollars. You don't have to give me a million dollars unless you want to. Yeah, absolutely. No, I'll take the request. That's all I'm saying. So yeah. you want to write it down? Because I'm, I'm going to need a stamped copy, too. No need. Well, I need, a stamp, I need a stamped copy for my record. Yeah, I won't be. I, so you guys have, I need something like a piece of paper that you can sign and date it, saying that you received the, the request. That's the way the law works. That's the way the law works. So now i got to put a complaint on you, and I don't want to do that. And that's okay. You see, that's, that's the problem there. It shouldn't be okay. You're the boss. I'm surprised Anthony X could make a video that's a half hour long. Seems to me he'd need a snack break in between that time. I'm not the boss. You, well, he told me you were the boss of this facility I, here. I, I am not the boss. I'm sure if you check the public records. Well, when I asked the other guy in there, he said oh, that you were on your way. Abdul, right? Yeah. He said you were on your way and you were the boss. Because at first I was trying to get your business card, but you had no business cards on the yeah. counter. And I don't, I don't have none on me, unfortunately. So why is he hey, telling me you're the boss if you're not? can't get a sobriety test. You seem a little fidgety right now. Abdul, yeah. uh, I just got a call from Stella. to stand up to the main it out All right, come. Yep, so there he goes. He's going to go to his meeting. He's going to leave us hanging, guys. He, he's he's consuming Bruce's time here. Hey, what about Bruce? He wanted to talk no, to you. That's fine. That's fine. Go do, no, that's fine. Go do your thing. No. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna get out of here, guys. This guy is disorganized. Well, there you have it, folks. Anthony X. The only thing he's good for is causing problems and filing complaints on public employees trying to get them fired. Why would somebody do that? Yeah. Oh, well, that's how people lose their jobs. Right. Well, at least they have a job to lose. You, Anthony, have nothing. You're a loser in life. But not to worry. If you enjoy watching stupid people do stupid things on my channel, please subscribe. <laughs> As always, thanks so much for stopping by, fellas. See so if you can find a real job and stop being losers in life. Cheers to that. I've actually studied English, and uh, I have a, over a 400-level education in English. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy.
Big tough guy. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing, nothing. You can come try to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing, take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? Oh, no I'm reason really, to have... I'm really, I'm really unhappy that somebody did this to me. We're gonna arrest you for trespassing in a minute. On um, public property? Yeah, we're asking you to leave and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's, oh, she's right in my face, guys. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to yes, you record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the law. Oh, is that like a law? It's against the line. Oh, what law is that? Funny, because I've never heard about that. I pay for that uniform, I pay for that car. I'm the taxpayer, right? You work for me, right? You're just a little guy. You're just a little guy. You work for me. You are a public servant. You are a public servant. You work for me.